Hi, right, Kapun Piso here. I continue with the uh, abysmal ignorance and psychosis of theism. The um, delusion within created by the brain. Speaking about one of the um, America homegrown cry psychosis, Mormonism. All religions originate in the brain and are aided by the ingestions of psychotropic substances. This happened over 5,000 years. That's what creates religious beliefs. Drugs. All religious beliefs Drugs. originated over 5,000 year, years ago by the ingestion of psychotropic, of psychotropic... The brain, product of evolution, the universe is within, is that's what we create thoughts with. Let's go back to 1820s. Uh, Joseph Smith Sr. Uh, was also, you know, suffered delusions because he was uh, kind of uh, dabbled a little bit with the uh, with the chemicals and with mushrooms and little things like that, and of course that's where he got his visions from. Even the Independent newspaper, 1831, mentions uh, what uh, the congregation, all religious the congregation, believes since 2,300 years ago, use entheogens. They saw God by ingesting this wine laced with entheogens. Even in those times, uh, the religious people that attended the services thought that uh, uh, the wine or something has been laced with... Um, laced with um, See, in the 1820s, uh, you know, they had no idea that the brain was rewinding, really creating thoughts and we have DNA and uh, uh, evolution, none of that. It was... A, 1700 years of uh, infection of, uh, of uh, religious beliefs and, and superstitions and deluded nonsense. There was no the culprit. There was you can no see that everywhere in the epigraphy in the ancient world. Amanita muscaria, mushrooms. And uh, one of the men oldest Anthonita, men oldest in the world, uh, you know, they were put on, on wine uh, as the Romans did when they see God. And look at this, look at this detail here, and you can see this detail here, and you can see this. You can see that in the patera that the uh, Emperor Hadrian as a priest was holding. Here is a depiction of the patera above, um, obviously mushroom, and look at the scepter, uh, an opium bud, and of course, uh, you know, the three apples of Apollo held by ah, uh, the irreducible complexity of the brain. <laughs> well, the intelligent designer, retarded folks, I don't get educated and learn science and realize that we create everything with the brain. We put chemicals in there, we see gods and we see all kind of nonsense. And we can cause genocide and psychopathy. In, in psychopathy. Christian iconography, look at that. There's a crystal from a Renaissance painting. They even include in the tree this. Amanita uh, what hallucinogenic Amanita is, you will never understand the significance of these paintings. Joseph Sr had two dreams that are very suggestive of the Amanita Muscaria mushrooms. And uh, see, this he had all these Green weird dreams. stories appeared to represent the Amanita mushroom, and they are. Umbrella shape of the three branches, the brilliant white particles on the branches, appeal all the, the rest branches, of the branches, and uh, uh, the product of entheogens, all religious habit, all of them. No exceptions. They affect the brain. You ingest these mushrooms and all that, you have visions and everything is distorted. Uh, like for instance, this is uh, the surface of a bonita mushroom and it, it was interpreted with engineering in the mind, like, uh, like they do dreams. And uh, that's what uh, Mormonism comes from. Like all the religions, uh, Mormonism from comes from ingestions of drugs. Yeah, when you when you eat those drugs and you eat, you know, you take all the uh, psychotropic substances, and you know everything is distorted, and uh, you see visions and you see all kind of stuff, and that's the reason he he saw Egyptian hieroglyphs <laughs> on the on the mushroom and all this nonsense. I mean, people on the drugs today. But the most incredible thing is and dangerous is that you have Mormon universities, Catholic universities, Baptist. Uh, Bob Jones University, you have a Liberty University by deluded Falwell, and then you have all this, and then you have Brigham Young. It's amazing. These people in the 21st century with this deluded, irrational 
retarded beliefs, teaching their kids this nonsense. That's the, that's the problem. Two plus two is equal to four. But to, to a deluded person believing in God and deists and all those people, uh, is anything else but four. That's the problem. Look at this. Of course, since the kids are in, becoming infected with the parents and the society with this religious belief, it causes genocide, intolerance, and they can, they can become full-blown and resulting in massacres and all these uh, uh, things. It causes, like Mormonism, for instance, uh, it creates conflict and intolerance. And a lot of genocide. It's a psychopath. Genocide. It's a psychopath. Members of the Bancher Party have been under attack for five days by local Mormon militia and Paiute Indians, leading to a truce off. But it's the double settlers are promised to be taken to safety. Look at the class psychotic. Children are gathered into wagons while their men march single file. While their men march single file. When the command was called out, do your duty. They turned on their individual prisoners and killed them on the spot. It's Christians. Hired Indians spring from hiding. They slaughtered the children. And they slaughtered the women. They scalped them, dismembered them, stripped them of clothing. Um, eventually, the wounded in the wagons were killed as well. Nice no, Christians. Only those children, infants and toddlers, and some up to four or five, six years old, were spared. And you know, People. mental illness, a mental illness, a mental illness, a mental illness, it doesn't matter. It's still with us today, religious psychosis, the acceptance of imaginary, deluded things as reality, like the deist and the ones with the uh, intelligent designer nonsense. Stupid like things. Uh, look at this. this uh, these people here uh, reading the Bible uh, trying to make the guy walk again. Try to make the guy walk again. Jim Jones, uh, Guyana, the Christ psychotic Jim Jones, Christ psychotic Jim Jones. Psychotic. Here you see uh, Christians, uh, Ray Comfort and uh, and Kirk Cameron. Are they still in the 12th century? This uh, makes people be very, very cruel to animals. In this case, this man here told uh, Fuller, he was yep. arrested, he skinned his dog. And he said he had just carried out God's plan. Retarded people are plagued by the irreducible complexity of science. And then the Catholics or Baptists or Jehovah's Witness or Mormons or anybody else. Cults, it just a believing Christianity that evolved in that in that disorder and disease. And she ended up drowning her uh, killing her kid, just like Andrea Yates drowned her kids because of Christ psychosis. Assembly of God subjected her to two-day exorcism ordeal in 1996 that left her so distressed she attempted suicide by dismiss was dismissed by the Texas was dismissed Texas, by the Texas, Texas Christ psychosis infected state. This and, is the problem in this country. You know, United States is a 82% of the people uh, are affected by Christ psychosis, the believing God nonsense, which some retarded folks call intelligent designer. It's another word for God. This retards don't understand that. The same thing. Resurrecting zombie saviors. Idiocies. You know, cause of psychopathy and tolerance all over the country. Horses are the majority infected with the neurological anomaly of Christianity. What can we say? And especially, you know, those ones that believe in this book. Some Muslims or anybody else and they start making Does anybody remember the New Crusaders, uh, Blackwater? Yeah, they were indicted. The problem is that uh, in the United States, the armed forces are composed of a lot of people that are deeply, uh, you know, Christians. And uh, Christianity is just a, a compilation of, uh, of, uh, com of delusions, so that's the problem. Everything, everything originates in the brain. Belief, ideas, everything. We are born atheists, uh, we are uh, infected with delusions uh, by, you know, between, between fact and reality when we are growing up. Uh, this is in a way a, kind of a psychosis, a believing imaginary friends. And if we grow up and still believe in that, it can be very devastating. And you see that in all the religious beliefs. All the religious beliefs in imaginary friends, and they fight each other all the time. It creates intolerance. This is exactly what's happening in this country. It's all in the brain, my friend. So religious beliefs created in the brain are the cause of all the problems today. Keep it healthy. Back to the